problem is she doesn't actually know where the money is. She knows it's buried, so no matter how much they torture her, she can't tell them. Okay. But she's definitely run out the house, and she's headed in that sort of direction, okay. that way. Well, Kieran and I can definitely tell you, everything that you've said so far, more or less, is, is absolutely mm. bang on. And, and is, it is our, a murder mystery, that's what we're okay. after. We're after finding out who actually killed this woman. You know, was it a group of soldiers? Was it somebody else? That, that's what we're after. Okay. And the identity, if it was soldiers, the identity, who these men were. Is yeah. there any reason at all to go into the house? No, no reason whatsoever. Well, Leslie would be really pleased because one of the mysteries was where was she killed? And you're saying she wasn't killed here. She was tortured, possibly raped, but she ran from here and was chased. Yeah, definitely. I can see her running away. Brilliant. So, so we now need to go to the second location, which yeah. Kieran and I know about, which could put the second piece of the jigsaw puzzle together. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. This is all really good. Let's go. I am happy that David has confirmed that the manor is not the murder scene, as local hearsay suggests that it occurred elsewhere. The most haunted team are now fully immersed in the mystery of the young girl, left alone to stand guard on the manor, and set upon by a group of roundhead soldiers who apparently tortured her, hoping she would reveal the whereabouts of the family's hidden valuables. It would seem she'd managed to escape, but was pursued by her tormentors. The team decided that they should follow the trail of her flight. I am certain it will lead to a medieval pack horse bridge, known locally as Roman Bridges, which cross the River Gowy. What more would David discover at this location? They've beat her, and then they've just um, oh, slit, slit her, her throat. throat. Does anybody there please do make a sound? <laughs> historian Leslie Smith and at my suggestion Yvette Fielding and the Most Haunted team are investigating the puzzling murder of a young girl in the Cheshire village of Tarvin during the time of the Civil War in the mid 17th century. It would seem she had been left alone to stand guard of the local manor house whilst the family, royalist sympathisers, took refuge from Cromwell's army. David believes she was set upon and tortured by a group of roundhead soldiers desperate to get their hands on the valuables that the family were known to possess. She managed to escape, but was pursued by her captors. The team have followed her psychic trail, which has led them to Roman bridges. Would David make findings here, which would shed further light on how she met her grisly end? What would have happened here in this particular area, particularly on these bridges, because it looks, you know, quite an old bridge? The main thing I've got is sort of this female running down this way, and I mean really going for it, really, really right. going for it. She's not, she's not just out for a bit of a jog on a Friday, you know, she's really going hell for leather, and she's, keep, she's looking back, so Aww. she's clearly being chased. chased. Now, she's got... Um, Already I can see it's almost like her, her eye is bruised. There's a cut here. Oh. I can feel that that she's been pulled and prodded and, you know, people have grabbed at her. I can feel that already from her. I can almost feel the, her heart beating out of her chest, you know, that boom, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. boom. And there's a good dozen people chasing her, easily a dozen people after her. Um, bigger, strong males, so bigger, much stronger than she is. Uh, and I'm sure they catch up her in, in this area, if not here, in, you know, in this vicinity. Do you want to walk a bit further round, or...? I'm all right here. I think... Um, this is a really good point, actually, because of the, the vantage point. Yeah. I feel, you know, to get up here, you can have more of a sense of where we're going and what's happening with so it. So would they have, they would have caught her, caught her around this area, if not here? Yeah. It seems that they've, they've got up behind her, they've got up behind her, and they've probably sexually abused her. Oh, God. And then they've just um, oh, slit, slit her, her throat. throat. But, I mean, really severely, like it's hanging on by a thread. Oh, like a, like a thread. so her whole he head is Her is head off, is hanging off. But yeah. hanging off. It might even have fallen off, you know, it was so severe. Okay. When you say they... Parliamentarians. Okay. Why were they doing this? Why were they running after her? What, what did they want from her? It seems to me that she's not going to give up this secret. She's not going to let them know something. It's, it's, um, it's almost as if she, she knows exactly what they're after, but she won't give up. 
And to be honest with you, that's a small part of it. It's just the simple fact that she was there. Oh, what a shame. It's, it's like the pack mentality, you know, when like a whole group of them get together, one G's up the other and, and it goes, it escalates. In, in my mind, they appear like a rabid beast. It's almost like you can see them all. The only thing I can really see clearly are leather tunics. I can see leather, short leather tunics, okay. which tells me that they're parliamentarians. I'm very interested because the, the crime happened, well, the crime happened back there in terms of a beating and that sort of stuff, but also happened over here in yeah. the actual murder. What did they do with the body? I think it's one of those ones where they've dragged it, they've pulled the oh. body along, sort of by her feet, by her feet. And also, it's almost like one's got her head and is laughing, do you know, mocking it. And pulling the rest of them are pulling this body. You can see that I can see a trail, literally a trail of blood. But her head is still hanging. No, it's off by this point. Oh, it's off. Had it off. Oh, yeah. it's off completely, completely clean. Completely off. Yeah. Oh, poor thing. So you say she was running along this bridge. Do you want to walk further down? Yeah. To see if you can pick up exactly where she was, where these men picked her up. Yeah, definitely. So she would have been running for her life over the bridge and these men, when did they catch her? And what, you know, you said that, you know, bless her heart, she was sexually abused and then they slit her throat. Where would this have all taken place? It seems to me like she's got us maybe even as far as here and they've come in behind her and caught up with her and then they've dragged her back towards the bridge. So just at the mouth of the bridge seems to be where they're finally, she's seen the end of her days really. You, you're saying that sort of she, she was quite a young lady as well. Yeah, she's, she's certainly not an old woman. I would put her uh, middle, middle 20s, early 30s. Any name yet with this lady? The name I've got is Grace. Grace, that's right? That's right, yeah. yes. Right, Absolutely right. Do you want to move on to the next place? Yes. I right. think we should. I don't really should. want to, but, you know, okay. yes, let's, well, let's Ke- find out for Kieran her. Kieran and I know why that is, so yes. Kieran, yeah. lead the way. Yeah. Okay. I want to be over there. So you want to be in the Headless Woman pub? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. But I don't want to go there just yet. Well, where do you want to go? They're showing me a picture of a, a Tudor house. It's nearby. It's in that sort of direction. Yeah, but why don't you want to go in there now? Because it doesn't feel right yet. I want to go there. I can't help it. It's where she's she's pulling me to a Tudor house that way. That's all so I know. So back through there. Yeah, Fred. I'm really sorry. I'm not happy. It would appear that the spirit of the young girl Grace wants David and the team to see another house before she allows them to enter the aptly named Headless Woman Pub. So they follow her lead with curiosity wondering what may lie ahead. Okay, David, is this the right place? This is the right place. Definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. I can hear, hear voices like they're pulling me in. So if I'm working properly, I can actually hear, it, it's almost like the house is calling me in. Okay. So I can hear that. Because we're just on the outskirts of the village. and. You know, it's actually called the Tudor House. Yeah, perfect. Oh, right, place okay. I'm sure. I feel like I'm I'm being led from the last place right through to here. I can I can feel like I'm following that. It's almost like a, a wispy trail that's taking me in. Okay. There. Well, good. We're on the right trail. Let's yeah. go inside. So, who's haunting this particular room? It's really clear as soon as you come into the property that there is a soldier in this place. He's cavalier. Because oh. you can, I can see the hat and the, the breeches. He's, um, he's, he's running around all over the place. In this particular room, or throughout the yeah, house? yeah, throughout the house. But I think he is quite strong over here. In the in this particular room, he's stronger. He's heading this way, mm. and he's looking out the window. Which windows? There's two big ones. I think here. the left hand window. This one here. Me. Yeah, I would say it was here. And the, the, obviously, there's not you know no estate agents or no. <laughs> or shops out there, it seems a green field. And I can feel, I can sense um, parliamentarians out there. Right. So I can sense Cromwell's armies around the place. And yet, the woman we met earlier, mm. she's also out there, but in ghostly form. So she's watching what She's happened. watching. She, it's almost like she's watching the whole thing take place. So who is he? Do you have a name with him? You say he's a cavalier, so we know which side of the, of the war he was yeah. on. Unfortunately, his name's Charles. 
So he's not the king. Right. He's definitely not the king, but I guess a lot of them were called after mm -hmm. the royals, I suppose. How old would he have been? He seems 